I think there is sometimes a stereotype that women and younger voters lean left or lean progressive or, or, or um, and, and then we look at the polls and that turns out not to be true. So I guess, could you speak a bit about whether or not the same stereotype um, with which we are so familiar in the US and in Europe holds in India? And if it does, why it's actually not true for this election? Yeah, so I will say it's hard to predict any election, but especially an Indian election. Um, But I'll speak about the trends that I think a lot of political analysts have seen in India, which is that um, while in many other parts of the world, women do tend to lean left, um, or at least, as you say, the stereotype is such, in the in India, it's not so much the case. Um, and actually, these two constituencies um, in many parts of the country seem to lean more towards the BJP and the current Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Um, and so in terms of reasons why... Um, See, the traditional reason that many people describe for women voting for the BJP is because of what they call in India welfare schemes, which are basically government programs um, that give out maybe food rations or gas cylinders or various um, needs of a household. And uh, because a lot of those needs are things that women often use or work with, they in particular have been... Um, the beneficiaries of them. They've also been targeted specifically by the BJP with these uh, programs. So there was this account opening scheme or or program where um, women had accounts opened in their names. So uh, the BJP is not the first first party to do this, um, to sort of target women in a very, very conscious way, um, but has done it at a scale across the country that I think a lot of political analysts have noted as a, as a, primary factor for why women could be leaning towards the BJP. Some other factors in certain parts of the country also include um, perceptions, uh, real or not, around law and order and women's Mm. safety. Um, And especially in the biggest state in India, uh, Uttar Pradesh in UP, which is sort of seen as an important um, bellwether for what happens in a national election. The... um, the law and order perception and the narratives around law and order with the chief minister or the head of that state there uh, has been particularly uh, tailored and geared towards women as well, where women have expressed a feeling of safety and security, and especially this idea of a strong man in power provides more feeling of safety and security. And I don't think that's totally separate from safety and security in a bigger, larger sense in terms of nationhood, right? So mm-hmm, protection mm-hmm. terrorism and protection from Pakistan. And they they are um, somewhat separate, but narrative wise, I think they sort of bleed into each other when you look at a strong man and authority, authority figure. Um, the third one that I don't think is talked as much about even in India, but I think is interesting is there's this concept of service within the right, the Hindu right in India, the Hindi name for is Seva. And it comes from um, the affiliated sort of, you might say, the mother of the BJP, the cultural organization that uh, um, uh, precedes the BJP, the RSS. And the RSS has always had a very strong component of service. Um, And that can be sort of community service. It can be temple cleaning. It can be um, service to your to your society, service to Hindus. There's this sort of thread throughout of um, seva or service. And some analysts have said that getting women outside the home for political activities is difficult. Um, Getting women outside the home in general in many parts of India is difficult, but getting them out for the idea of service is just an extension Mm -hmm. of what they would be anyways doing in their private spaces. Um, So women have tended to join in those sorts of events. And I do think... um, I do think that there is something to be said for women being more religious or at least women being allowed to be religious in a public space where maybe they won't be allowed to be other types of things in a public space. So, for example, there are these sort of prayer meetings or prayer song meetings that um, the RSS will have and that that seems to get a lot of women to come out. Um, So I think you have to understand the context of 
what is a woman allowed to do in the public space and um, how can you fit a, a framing within politics that lets women in through that. And it seems like the BJP has been able to capitalize that particularly. 